A police officer shoots and kills a dog in Buchanan, Michigan. Now, before the shooting, police say that dog and another got loose and mauled a cat and a smaller dog to death. WSBT's James Fillmore is at the live desk tonight. And James, this happened Saturday morning. A statement from the chief of Buchanan police was posted on the city of Buchanan's Facebook page, Rick. Now, all the people who lost pets that day are grieving. The owner of the dogs accused of mauling the other animals says she's sorry, but she doesn't agree with how police handled the situation. I love him very much. And now this happened. I tried to be protective. I did everything I could to protect him. Lynn Morris had his cat Grayson out on the porch early Saturday morning. He left the door open so he could keep an eye on him. Morris says he first saw one dog and then two. Before he knew it, one of the dogs used its mouth to grab Grayson. Morris says he heard his cat screaming and crying as the dogs ran down the street. He was the only member of my family I had left that lived with me. In other words, he was my family. Grayson's dead body was found down the street. While Morris was giving a Buchanan police officer his statement, the two dogs ran across the street. The officer followed, and police say the two dogs were mauling another dog named Snowball. Snowball also died. The officer says he yelled at the dogs, and one of them ran at him. He shot the dog twice, and it died. I definitely didn't want this to happen. If I could take it all back, I wouldn't want it to happen. I don't want to see any animals dead. I love animals. Sade Blackwell is the owner of the two dogs that police say were involved in the attacks. Blackwell says the officer shot and killed her lab mix named Capache. She still has her other dog, a pit bull named Stax. Police say Capache was five feet away from the officer when he fired his gun. But Blackwell says Capache wasn't being aggressive and was actually walking to his dog house when the officer killed him. I feel like my dog could have been pepper sprayed. He could have got hit with a nightstick or anything. He didn't have to get shot. Now the incident remains under investigation by the Berrien County Sheriff's Department and Berrien County Animal Control. It's not clear yet if the owners of the dogs will face any charges or what will happen to stacks. At the live desk, I'm James Fillmore, WSBT Channel 22 News. Elkhart Sheriff's Department is currently looking for a